Guys, we are bringing something to you that is another fantastic opportunity. Green Chef. I feel like anytime we have um, a sponsor that has food, meals delivered to your door that have more healthier, wholesome options full of a, var- a wide variety of organic ingredients, we say sign us up. Yeah, sign. Where do we sign, sign us up? up? Where do we sign up? Green Chef lets you choose from a wide array of easy to follow recipes, perfect for keto, paleo, and plant based diets, or even if you just want to eat healthier. Recipes are quick and easy with step by step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and includes recipes for paleo, keto, and plant powered diets. I am really excited to try the recipe apricot glazed salmon. I mean, aside the fact that it sounds delicious, I really enjoy making salmon, but I never feel like, I never feel prepared to cook a recipe with salmon. So it'll be nice to have step-by-step all the ingredients and it's all done for me. All I have to do is follow the directions. Go to greenchef.com slash reps and use code reps80 to get $80 off, including free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash reps80 and use code reps80 to get $80 off, including free shipping. (laughs) What? What? We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. Ranch water. Drinking ranch water. Spicy ranch water. water. We're both drinking spicy ranch water. Wrapped in a Nick Cage blanket. (sighs) This thing is freaking epic. Dude, spicy ranch water. Anybody's watching, you gotta check out this blanket. Lone River Ranch Water. They're on completely two different spaces. <laughs> ranch water. Hard seltzer. Made with 100% agave, natural lime juice, and jalapeno flavors. This is the spicy. The spicy one. calories. Okay, but can I talk about my Nick Cage blanket? Yep, no. you can. Because we're going to take Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Wow. Hey. We're going to take Nick Cage on, on tour. 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 On tour. So I had got this blanket for Daniel ages ago, but I actually stole it back from him. And it, if you're watching, it's Nick Cage. This is the back of it. It's just his face. It's just his face. Eyes, we want to go mouth. to like different like memorials and stuff and just take a picture in the Nick Cage blanket. Yeah, go to the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Take a picture with Nick Cage. <laughs> We're going to take Nick Cage everywhere. <laughs> Nick Cage. I'm going to be honest. I need toenail clippers. I think there's a chance that my own shitty toenail yeah. nicked my brand new leggings. <laughs> they're, just, they're that they're Dude, that haggard. It's just, it needs to be filed. Your foot does too. Look Dude, at it. Everything about my body <laughs> needs to be, my body could use some Man, filing. You know, I'll say COVID has really done a number on us. Honestly, Remember when we used to have like I used nice to think, I used, nails. And, I used to think about and, things differently. <laughs> <laughs> like my nails. Now I'm just an alcoholic and with shitty nails. <laughs> but a best friend. <laughs> That's right. And a Nick Cage blanket. What more do we need? Not much. Don't even need an actual dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I have bought. Hmm, I started that out like I'm going to say I bought 10 different vibrators i know i was gonna say like what no i've bought one actually just one oh really yeah i still have the old trusty lilo oh no i have that i mean i I have a bag i just feel like it works so well i have a bag that i wouldn't even i wouldn't even get anything else i have i bought this thing i don't remember what it's called uh yeah okay i'll talk about it (laughs) (laughs) it's so it it uh it was marketed okay. as this thing that goes inside your vagina. Okay. And then it has this little bean type thing on the inside on the end. And it when you turn it on, okay. it goes like it like goes like this. So it's like poking like this. Right? I feel like that'd be annoying. No. It's supposed to be like um, hitting the G spot. Yes. Ah. So you're supposed to put <laughs> you're supposed to right put now. that in there. Yeah. You're supposed to put that in there. And then hope you find your own G spot. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, uh, and is then that also it? that's one hand, and then the other hand is with like 
a little vibrator on your on your clitoris. That sounds like a lot of work. Ye old clitoris. Ye old clitoris. Man, um, if anyone's listening to this that's under the age of 18, please turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're in, in the car with your children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Earmuffs. Save it for later. Save it for later. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Hey, Just welcome wanna... to Between the Reps with Brooke and Gina. Yes. And also... So, oh my gosh, my mom's FaceTiming me. Oh my gosh. Oh, hang on. Are you really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I hung up or she did. Okay. An accident. <laughs> my mom's in uh, Dallas. Dallas. They went to the rodeo. I love it when my mom and dad travel together. It's so cute. It is so cute. Okay, what but what say? I was going to say. So last week, everybody, um, me and Gina did a podcast. We had to do it over Skype. And Which I was totally, so weird. Wasn't that yeah, weird? Yeah, it was weird. Sorry if that, um, I mean, the last, I always apologize for our podcast, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about I what I think they're said. all like really depressing or, or dumb. Or just weird. Or weird. Um, Here's what happened. I royally fucked up. I did. I'm just glad Colby, it wasn't me. I, I messed up. So here's what, here's how I messed up. And. I'm going to tell myself that the millions of you that listen to this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> all of our millions of listeners, uh, listened and thought like, why do you guys sound so weird? And shitty. there's like echoing kind of shitty. Well, that's because one, we had to do it on Skype because I was in Utah and Gina was in California Two, We haven't done, we haven't had a, okay. We re- we record at home on our roadcaster. Love this piece of equipment, by the way. If any of you are trying to do like do a podcast, we have an email about it. Yes, Alessandro, the Roadcaster. It's great. It mm-hmm. records to an SD card. You have you do everything on it. You just you just plug in, and you put it in your computer. Um, I haven't had to think about how to set up like the Bluetooth since the first time we ever had a guest on that right. wasn't with us, and. As I'm sitting at my mom's house and I'm getting ready to Skype Gina so we can record, the Bluetooth button's on. And there's been a couple times that we've been recording and like my mom has called and I answer it on my phone, but then it Bluetooths to the roadcaster. So then we just have her on the podcast. Right. And so I was thinking to myself like, oh, I'll just turn the Bluetooth off because then no one will interrupt, blah, blah, blah. But well, it needed to be on. It needed to be on because I had forgot that at a certain point when we're doing Skype, from the first time we ever had anyone on via Skype, you I figured out how to, you know, Bluetooth my laptop to the Rodecaster so it would record the audio from Skype there. So we wouldn't have to use the audio from the computer doing Skype. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyways, didn't even think about it. Didn't and then Mark texts me and he's like, This sounds terrible. Did you record this on the Roadcaster? And I'm like, No, it is <laughs> through Skype. And he's like, dude, you fucked up. Gina's echoing. And I'm like, oh man. I told him, I was like, that is a hundred percent my fault. Um, and he, you know, he did his magic the best that he could, but the, uh, you know, it's just not a hundred percent because, um, because my fault. Yeah. It's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like any of you that are true, true fans of this podcast really don't give a shit. And you're still here listening to this one right now. So thank you. Hopefully. Yeah. Thanks for coming back. Um, and I won't make, we won't make that mistake. Oh, Sorry. I will not make that mistake again. <laughs> I was like, don't lump me in. I actually never know what I'm doing. Brooke's like, I, I mean, for me to even get Skype was a huge issue. <laughs> I was like, Gina, we got a Skype. She goes, I don't even know if I have Skype. <laughs> I'm like, just download yeah. it. FaceTime me. Well, I'll help you. The funniest thing about that is that I, I don't know if I mentioned it on the last one, but at first it'll, it'll give you a trial. Uh-huh. So it'll see if it's working. Mm-hmm. So I was very proud of myself like a trial video. because I actually down, you know, downloaded it to my computer, which, you know, whatever. Um, but then my face wasn't popping up and it's because I'm so paranoid. I forgot that I had the tape over the, the thing. So it didn't see me. So it took me a while to figure that out, but yeah. I never really, um, yeah, Gina has tape over the camera <laughs> on her computer. We've talked about it before, but she also has an Alexa. So <laughs> <laughs> I do that bitch. She's always listening to like, sometimes I'm like, For what sure. are you listening to right now? Everything. But I'm just watching TV 
everything. I know. And sometimes I'll look and she's on and I'm like, Alexa, turn the fuck off. And she's like, okay. and she's like, I'm just pretending. <laughs> I'm just pretending her, her lights off, but she's still listening. <laughs> yeah. I am always listening. Um, what? Uh, I'm like, what were you going to talk about? Oh no. I, yeah, I have a list in my head. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> We have an idea. So oh, here, yeah. Here's what we decided. Um, so me and Gina have had so many ideas of things, like just fun things that we could do together that we well, really, it's just what we find entertaining. So there might be a very small percentage of people that also find it entertaining, <laughs> but we've wanted to do these things via social media. Um, like one, Gina has wanted to recreate a bunch of photos of mine. Yes. And we would like post side by side photos, like her recreating them. We wanted to do like her and I just recreating a bunch of shit. In fact, we talked about this and we got so many great ideas yeah. of things we were going to recreate, like Step Brothers, mm -hmm. um, a scene from, oh, uh, what's the show when they're wearing all denim? I remember, I didn't know. You're the oh only my one, you're the one that knew that one. Ooh. Carly, so, so, Carly, yeah, Carly sent it in. Yeah. So many of you sent us so many good ideas. We oh, have, burping into this we thing, haven't sorry. done it yet. However, here's the thing we haven't done that most podcasts I would say do, or a lot of them do to try and increase, uh, followers or people that want to, you know, be a part of their weird weirdness <laughs> is a Instagram page. Yeah. So we're going to make a between the reps Instagram page. We haven't done it yet. No, but th this is how it came up. We were dying laughing at, we have so many videos and horrible pictures. Terrible. Terrible pictures. You have never seen us look Dumbest worse. Dumbest videos from, I mean, probably the last five, six years. Yes. <laughs> and we were laughing <laughs> at all of these ridiculous things that we have. And we thought, oh my God, this would be, this would be the page that we would post it. This isn't, this, this is, is not page, going to be, this flattering. is the page where we get to be the real, the real us. Because the thing is, I was telling Brooke, uh, I don't know if you're okay with me talking about this now, but I mean, I don't but, know what you're going to say, but so yeah, uh, say it. Okay. So Brooke has all these followers, right? I, <laughs> I would say that probably 2% of the people that follow me were actually following me before I was friends with Brooke. <laughs> so a lot of people I feel like follow me because they want to see what Brooke's doing because they were pretty much your followers. So she wants me to agree with her, but honestly, I know it's know. true. It's true. But also I don't post a lot. I never post our podcast on there. I'm not, I'm, I never promote anything on there. So, uh, because my Instagram started with just friends and family. Yeah. So it felt weird to all of a sudden be like, I think I'm, an, inf my I'm an influencer too. So I'm just going to start <laughs> <laughs> posting all these things, promoting myself. You'd already, so, already, so I, you know, a, <laughs> a couple people that were like good friends were like, you're doing a podcast. Yeah, and yeah, Gina's yeah, like, yeah, I'm doing it with Brooke. And they're like, what are you going to talk about? <laughs> you're like, honestly, yeah, I guess uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, <laughs> So, but then, but then we were talking about it because Brooke has this huge following, uh, from a lot of people that love watching her do her fitness or are fans of CrossFit or all these things. And so doing between the reps, honestly, if she posts something for between the reps, we love seeing our fans that Dude, say something, but we love she it. gets probably a quarter of the views <laughs> oh, a quarter. Met probably less than that um on that so what we were thinking is it would make more sense to do a between the reps one so that the people that actually love our podcast and that's what they're there for yes. have that to go to and then she doesn't have to disappoint her other <laughs> her it's, other you know her other followers by posting stuff that they're like Wait, what's that? Mike, when I posted the uh. video, I posted on when they started doing reels on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I posted the um, a couple of the videos that we did with the Snapchat filters. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> when I'm an ostrich. Oh, yeah. Which we find hilarious. Right. Like, we find hilarious. And like almost, uh, I posted this video 
does it have a date? It doesn't. I mean, a long time ago when they very first, okay, here you go. The first video I ever posted on Reels on Instagram is when I was in Yosemite and I saw a bear. Great. 399,000 views or yeah, views or likes, whatever the fuck. <laughs> the next two videos I posted were me as an ostrich. The first one, 4,991. <laughs> the second one, me and me as an ostrich, 6,982. <laughs> the next- They hate it. Dude, the next video I posted was actually a video that Colby cut together because it was a promotion for our YouTube video. One million. Wow. The video before the one million, 6,000. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. anyway, we're just trying to keep the people on Brooke's page happy. So we're just going to, yeah, we're going to do it between the reps. And so Dude, people we're going to do it between the reps. Like we're going to go live. Together. We're going to go live. I never go live on Instagram. Why? Because I think to myself, like, I should go live. And then the next thought is like, what the fuck am I going to do? <laughs> right. Like, what do, what do I say? Like, I'm just sitting here like, oh, I'm bored. I could go live. And then it's like, well... It would be easier to go live if you could allow people who are watching like to like let them phone in, right? Like answer this this caller's message and like let people talk to you. Right. And have a conversation. But you can't. It's like, well, um, here I am. <laughs> um <laughs> not sure what to do next. And also I'm just a real person and my sh my life can be boring as shit. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> However, it's never boring if me and Gina are together. That's true literally colby never. colby's nodding it's never boring we don't think it's boring it Actually, could be boring to other people other people the for conversation sure. we have though i feel like um is never boring to almost anyone it could be um dumb. terrifying to some <laughs> i was gonna say or dumb. dumb dumb to many we were in the car yesterday and i think we were hungry i don't know what was wrong with us no we were hungry but we were singing in the car when we say hungry, it's hungry and hungover. That's well, yeah, that too. <laughs> but we were singing, a, it's a song by Khalid, and it's, anyway, we were singing it. It's and like a ballad. It's a ballad. And all I kept thinking was like, oh my God, we are crazy. But, we are ab but, but the using thought, but that thought didn't even come to our minds or Gina's <laughs> until after like, like two <laughs> minutes into the song. <laughs> Anyway. And we're at a stoplight. Oh, and yeah. The I entire thinking, time we're, are these we're singing about this, us? we're singing the song, but never, like, what, maybe once or twice, we said a word. Yeah, Everything was else was just sound. <laughs> sound effects. Yeah. And she looks at me and she goes, first, she was like, can you imagine what people are thinking looking at us in the car? <laughs> <laughs> probably, I said, they probably think she, we're crazy. And then she goes, I think we need to eat some food. <laughs> I know we did need to eat. Um, but yeah, so we are going to do that. Um, we are probably, well, I, I feel like we're probably going to try to do it before you leave to go back to Utah. No, definitely. Okay. Honestly, we'll probably start the Instagram shortly after we end this podcast. And then we already have a good amount of ammo to put in there. Ugh. Um, and we really hope that all of you that are, are listening will interact with us on there. Yeah. It'll make it way better, way more fun for us. But it's going to be, it's definitely going to be an Instagram page that is bizarre. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're oh. gonna, oh, you like, going to, people that are like, oh, I've never seen you look bad. Oh, wow. Oh, you're going to see we some bad. We have Brooke some. Took some uh, we have some of the worst <laughs> pictures of me. <laughs> So I had my, uh, so I did, I, I've talked about it before, but I did the halo. We both yes. did the halo, yes. the halo laser on our faces. So two days ago I did the halo on my neck and my chest. So Brooke, they give you this, the gas. And so Brooke took a picture of me when I was f fucked up. I was so high. I think at one point they, they spray this cold air on you at the same time, just because it's so hot as they're doing it. And I just remember like, Telling the girl, I was like, what did I say? So they take, so the, it's called nioxin. Yeah, nioxin. Or something like that. And it's, um, it wears off pretty fast. Yeah. And they, it's right when they kind of took the gas away from Gina and I'm sitting in the room and there she's like, it has this really freezing cold air 
and she, they only have one hose. So you can really only hit like one spot at a time. <laughs> but when you have your entire face done or your neck and your chest, like everything's Because as fire. soon as you take it off, it's on fire. It's on fire. And I just hear Gina be like, man, wouldn't it be cool if you were like an octopus? <laughs> <laughs> And she just wanted her to be like, have an, a, have an like octopus eight of and have like so many arms that hit, she could just have like, you know, have, hit every have inch lots, of, <laughs> lots of freezing cold air hoses spraying her versus only one spot at a time. And I I just, I hear her say it, then I just say octopus and I start dying laughing. And then she realizes what she said and how it sounded to anyone outside of her own brain. Well, yeah, it was definitely going on inside my head. I didn't even know I said it out loud. But you're so high during this. And so you have this thing in your mouth, this tube. And Brooke, this freaking asshole, <laughs> took a picture of me. Because I didn't Daniel, know she, I know, I didn't even Daniel know she took a picture. Daniel me and he just goes, send me a picture of her face. And I'm thinking, and I, my first thought was like, she's not even getting her face done. <laughs> I know. And I was like, okay. And so I take a picture and she's the hose, like the air. Cause they just give you this thing that goes in your mouth. It's not in her mouth, but it's on its way into her mouth. And so she's laying there. It's just hideous. It's really good. And my neck, Brooke looks at me. She goes, you wearing a turtleneck? She was bright, I was bright red, red from the neck down. <laughs> bright red. It's just hideous. So I think that might be, you know, one of our first posts. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas is coming up. I'm always looking for stocking stuffers and native, you know, the deodorant company. Yeah. Native has these really cool holiday scents. And, you know, I always have like, you you always have like the one stinky kid. I feel like that you have more than one. (laughs) (laughs) And I know for sure there's more than one in my family. (laughs) One in particular. So that, so native is definitely what's going to go in their stocking. They have a really cool scents like candy cane. They have a sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. Oof. They have vanilla and chai. Yeah, then they have product assortment of with candy cane. You can get all of these things sold separately. Deodorant, body wash, plastic free deodorant, sensitive deodorant, toothpaste. You can get the candy cane gift set, which is one mini deodorant. One full-size deodorant, one body wash, and one toothpaste. Literally all the things that help people (laughs) smell better. Get Get, those. Get them from all angles. Just go ahead and get those for all your (laughs) friends. Basically anyone you would buy a gift for that you come in contact with. Or that person at the gym. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Native is the perfect addition to your daily routine this holiday season. They never use ingredients that shouldn't be in deodorant like aluminum, parabens, sulfates, or talc. Native's holiday offerings will be running all the way through January 4th, 2021. Shop Native's holiday collection today by going to nativedeo.com slash reps or use promo code reps at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedeo.com slash reps or use promo code reps at checkout for 20% off your first order. Man, I love meat. (laughs) I do. You guys, high quality meat matters. There's more to it than just texture and taste. There are hidden costs in low quality meat. You question if it's been humanely raised. Chances are probably not. But high quality meat, it's better for you. It's better for the animal, better for the environment. And that's why we use ButcherBox. And for the convenience. Super convenient. Dropped at your door. Here's your box of meat. Not everyone has convenient access to high quality meat, but if you use a company like ButcherBox, they deliver it, just like Gina said, right to your door. ButcherBox has options like 100% grass-fed and finished beef, free-range organic chicken, heritage pork, wild-caught salmon, and sugar nitrate-free bacon. And we love bacon. 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 (laughs) Bacon. (laughs) You guys... With ButcherBox, you get the highest quality meat around for just $6 a meal. That's nothing. No, that is nothing. No one can, no one can bring a comment to the table of like, oh, it's too expensive. (laughs) No way. Absolutely not. Today, bacon for life is back. (laughs) Right now, new members can get bacon for life when they sign up. Just go to butcherbox.com slash reps. That's a package of free bacon. 
bacon. Bacon in every box for the life of your subscription when you go to butcherbox.com slash reps. 2020 has been pretty crappy. It is crappy. It's been so crappy. I'm like, <laughs> now I just like, I sit here and I'm like really thinking about it. It's been it's really, pretty upsetting. Really bad. Uh, um, if, if, if anyone out there is like Brooke and I. And you need, a, you need someone to talk to and you have not heard us talk about BetterHelp before. Or you have, but you enjoy it because you love us so much. BetterHelp is where you, I, you are guaranteed to get the help that you need. Professional um, help. Professional help that you need. BetterHelp is full of licensed professional counselors who specialize in many things. Some of some of those things, depression, stress, anxiety, grief, self-esteem, trauma. It's super convenient, professional, affordable. And so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. It has definitely been something great for me. Um, and I've loved even that it's been helping some of my close family members. So we want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash reps. Join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash reps. Bad or I don't know, us or, trying to rap when we're drunk uh, dude, at Halloween. That one's pretty bad. That one's really bad. Anyway, so yeah, so there's going to be some, a put lot some, of like censorship on that video <laughs> of me naked running across the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's this thing that I do because I do it because Gina loves it. Like, so here's the thing I love. I think we've talked about it before. We have. I love to do things um, <laughs> that are super embarrassing. Well, I like it when you're ugly. So Gina loves You're it. so beautiful that I love it. I love when you're ugly. She like loves this morning, it. this morning, Brooke <laughs> yeah. was staying, she stayed over and she woke up and she went into the bathroom and she comes out and well, I'm had on my, my phone. I had had my hair in like a top bun type thing. Both of yeah. us did to go to bed because our hair was disgusting. Oh. And I was going to get in the shower and Gina was still in bed and I took my hair out and- Pushed it all forward. All of my hair, because I have extensions, duh. Um, all of my hair that's on top of like the top extension that I have, it was just all fucked up. And I had like severe CBH, severe, severe CBH. Severe. And I look in the mirror and I'm like, Oh God. And then I'm, my hair was so gross. I just grabbed all of it and pushed it. And I brushed it forward like a huge comb over to give me bangs. She literally she had a, like a super shitty bowl cut. So I brushed all of my hair forward <laughs> and then took the rest of my hair and tucked it up under so it looked like I had like a really bad you look like Jeff Daniels from Dumb and Dumber yes I had like a weird bad bob and then all these wispy (laughs) shitty hair in the front and I look at her and I go hey Gina (laughs) I was crying I was was like hey "Hey, look at my hair yeah and that's what I love because I look so shitty but I'm bringing so much joy (laughs) you are but yeah so I love uh Brooke does this like she tucks her butt under like sometimes she'll come out of the shower and we've already talked about it. Like she's a, she's a nudist. So you're traveling or whatever. And one time she came out at the Airbnb and had her butt tucked under and she was like running around like with a hunchback (laughs) around the, around the room. (laughs) And I fucking love it. And so she does it for me all the time. Like when I'm out of town and she's not with me, like, uh, there's a video. Yeah. I'll send her videos. So (laughs) So we have that video. Yeah. A while back I'm staying at this Airbnb. Me and me and Devin were in uh, Arizona. And this bedroom, like the master bedroom, had this like this bathroom that was kind of inset a little bit. So if you're standing in the bathroom area, there's like walls. So you can't see the entire bedroom. So I just go, hey, Devin, will you film this really quick? <laughs> she's like, <laughs> I gotta yeah. send this to Gina. And I just have her standing there with the camera up, but she's like in the bathroom facing towards the bedroom. So like if I'm in like the bedroom area, she could not see me and I was just like hidden behind the wall. And all I did was do this walk that Gina loves and I'm butt ass naked. And I just like ran across and then ran across <laughs> multiple times. Devin had no idea. She couldn't see me. She didn't know that I was naked. She couldn't see me. And we have this video and I sent it to, I sent Dude, it to Gina because she, lo- she loves it love from it. afar. I know how to like brighten her day. <laughs> just look as ugly as possible. And usually yeah. nude, <laughs> usually nude. Or um, terrible hair. Oh, terrible. I, yeah, terrible hair. 
CBH. Like that time that I woke up in Brazil. Yeah, but okay. I already told you that one isn't even that bad. It's pretty bad though. I, I, I mean, you look fucked up, but my hair it's was not that bad. It was, you guys, it was pretty bad, but I, there's certain photos. Okay. This, this instance, I woke up, I was in Brazil for a while. I was there for a fitness event, but I, okay, when I travel, especially if I go somewhere I've never been, like, even if I have shit to do, I still want to go and, and I'll stay up late. I'll go and enjoy or learn or experience the culture and go do this, go to try this restaurant, go here, do that. And I was there and almost every night. You'd gone to a show, I think. Yes, but I was up very late, very drunk. Okay. Uh, went to bed, woke up in the morning. And I was going to start getting ready for my day. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my <laughs> God. First thing goes through my mind. So much embarrassment and shame. <laughs> Second thing. You have to take a picture of yourself and send this to Gina. <laughs> because nothing will make her happier right now. <laughs> it was uh, and I said, it was good. So basically, like when I look god awful, like it's terrible. I take Does that make photos. me a bad friend that I, I, like, my favorite thing is when you look the worst? No, because you know what? <laughs> you, you love it when I look good, too. I do. You love it when I look bad because, a couple of reasons, when I look really bad. You look really bad. Makes her feel better about herself. <laughs> Vice versa. It when does, she though. looks really bad, I feel way better about myself. <laughs> it does. And when we both look good together, we feel fucking unstoppable unstoppable man no <laughs> but no okay so speaking of that so we are leaving tomorrow we're driving down to Paso Robles Paso Robles and getting our hair done so I'm going to try we've talked about hair extensions before Brooke has the weft which is like a it's sewn in it's like a sewn in thing and I have these tapes that I am just so sick of so I'm going to try it and but what was interest an interesting fact is Brooke's hair girl yeah, she, uh, new, Nicole. new girl, Nicole. New girl, so I, Nicole. Started, I started seeing this new girl. She's closer. Well, not closer anymore because I'm currently in Utah. Right. But um, closer to here. Yes. And she's affordable. And she also does Devin, your assistant's mm -hmm. hair. But anyway, so, so I was like, I'm going to try doing this different kind of uh, extensions. And she was telling us that this is, uh, this is something I did not know. Neither did I. Um. And it's, it, it, I can't get it out of my head at this point. Um, I'm surprised unless, you haven't ripped your hair extensions I know, out. I know. Unless it is certified. I think L'Oreal certified. L'Oreal, yeah. And apparently Bellamy is the only hair extension company. I shouldn't say only. But there's a lot of companies out there that are doing hair extensions. So tape-ins. Right. Like all that. Basically Wefts, the hair. All, right? Yeah. Creating the, the actual product. Um, but it's, I imagine, expensive and quite the process to become L'Oreal certified. And, but what we found out is, so Bellamy is what she has. Yes. She just threw out Bellamy. Bellamy is the hair that this girl, Nicole, does on Brooke's head. Um, any you, other, it, any other hair extension, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what kind. That is not L'Oreal certified. That is not L'Oreal certified. Only has to have one human hair one strand one strand of human hair in it to be considered human hair yep per Only one per extension so like for me i have the tapes so they're all like separate so i so say i have 20 tapes, tapes in my head that means i only may have 20 actual human hairs on my head what's crazy is that she said the most common thing put on hair extensions that are not certified is from India. It's yak hair. Yak The hair, hair from the underbelly of a yak. Of a yak. <laughs> and I was like, I for sure am wearing yak hair. You definitely might be. I mean, that hair that hangs down off its belly, like near where it pees mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there have been times when I've gotten hair and I'm like, oh, this hair is so weird. 
It just becomes strange. So now I've I've been living the last three weeks realizing I have yak that hair. I have yak hair. Well, it's like I've, I've gotten my hair done and not all of my hair feels, feels shitty, the same. but certain parts of it feels will, weird. Like right after I get it for the first time, because when you first get your hair extensions in or like the hair before you actually wash it once or, you know, a few times, it has been probably treated. It has some sort of like, uh, product, well, they, product they, on it in a way that like it feels better. And then the second you, cause even when it. I got my hair done, they're like, when you wash it, you'll actually have more volume, you know, because you won't, it's not brand new. Um, I've had it where I've had brand new hair. So I was told and like been in the car, like driving somewhere, like just showered, washed my hair, curled it, whatever. And it starts to grow. Or like, like frizz up frizz, or, like yeah. immediately or it won't even be all the hair it'll just be like a section of the hair and then I learned this about hair extensions and like what it actually takes to call it like process it human or, hair or oh, whatever right right is like not a lot no it just has to have one hair one other than that it's yak <laughs> also shout out to the yaks dude <laughs> shout out so to gross. Them. So weird. Another yeah. thing I learned about like L'Oreal and like hair extensions. So I remember, remember a long time ago when we started looking up like hair extensions. Yes. So with L'Oreal, they, there's programs. Because you think about it like, oh my God, all these hair extensions. Like who's growing all this hair? Well, what I think is very cool from like Bellamy, what I've learned. I don't know everything about it. Obviously, I don't do hair. Um but there are programs. I mean, people are paid and taken care of for what they're doing. Growing hair, cutting it. Like it's from one point of view, be like, oh my God, that seems so terrible. But at the same time too, like if you grew, like I wish I could grow my, I wish my hair grew enough to be like, yeah, cut it off. <laughs> I have so much of it. Well, I think that um, through this L'Oreal, the L'Oreal, L'Oreal program, they make sure that the people whose hair they're getting are, are compensated well. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it seems more not humane. I don't, I don't, I well, don't. Yeah. I but, mean, but yeah. Humane. Humane. Yeah. Dude, I wish, I wish that my hair grew in a way that I could like be a part of that. Like that was my job. <laughs> Where you just grow hair. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to be really happy to not have yak hair anymore. Yeah, Gina's getting her hair done. Yeah. So am I. I cannot wait. <laughs> All right, so what were the questions we were going to answer? Um, well, we, it was more like topics. Oh, okay. So one topic. Um, let me pull it up really quick. Okay. This is actually just a shout out to Beth Hirschbach. I might be butchering your name. H-E-R-S-C-H-B-A-C-H. Beth Hirschbach. Yeah, that sounds right. Beth, I hope you're listening to this. Um, she wrote in, and this was in August. Um, she just, you know, you two. I thought the podcast, she's laughing, laughing, crying faces. I thought the podcasts when you're drinking were hilarious, but little did I know the early morning one would top those. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, thank you for making me smile and laugh on some really hard days. A mother of three in a city with no friends. Beth. Oh. And a couple things. On one hand, dude, I wish that we were in your city. Yeah. We'd be your we'd be your best Two, friends. These types of messages that we get, uh, this is why we continue to record podcasts. It is. 100%. Yeah. Listening to, like, we read, we read your, we read your emails. We do Gina read all 100% the emails. reads all the I read emails. All. I have multiple email accounts on my phone. And so, uh, not as often am I getting into our between the reps emails. Gina will forward some to me. I'll get in there and read some, but we do read them. And there are so many that, your responses are, fuck, it's exactly, it's exactly why we do it. You know, people, you letting us know, like, just even just sending in a note, explaining to us, like, how you enjoy them. You enjoy them because you talk, like, you're listening to us, but you, t you comment. You are all, like, yeah. out the loud, commenting, laughing. Like, comment. that is 
that is why we do it. And we continue to podcast for all of you. Like if it wasn't for our listeners, we wouldn't be doing these. We wouldn't do it. <laughs> Not at all. Especially right now. Like I'm super displaced. Can't can't and get anyone to take my money to buy a home, literally to buy a home in California, take all my money. Right. And um, but we're we are making it work. And the reason we we make it work is for all of you that really do enjoy this. And yeah. the reason we're making an Instagram page. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> well, I feel like also it's just fun to put out. I I feel like on Instagram it's fun to see, put out. Well, no, I mean, it's fun, it's to, put fun out. to put out. No, but I feel like uh, when you go on Instagram, there's so much out there that doesn't feel real that it would feel it would be fun to do something to show people how like what how another person really is mm -hmm. flattering, unflattering, all of that, because I mean, just what you were showing me this morning. Yeah. This girl, girl's Instagram yes. page, she's so, so great. good. Let me see if I can this, find it. So this I can girl, give her a shout out. she she shows people how Instagram models pose in a way that makes them, you know, it looks more flattering. You know, your stomach looks flat and your butt looks big and does all this. And she'll do it like a side by side or or bef one before the other, and she'll pose and then she'll let her stomach out. Her name is or, Danae. Yeah, give the Okay, so her Instagram, Instagram. is D-A-N-A-E-M-E-R-C-E-R. -E -E and... Mercer? Mercer. Danae, Danae Mercer? Yes, and she is incredible. Um, she does this. She does these videos on her Instagram showing, like, how people get certain photos. Like, it's like reality-versed Instagram. Um Showing and, how to pose, showing like what it actually looks like. And it's like real, real. I can't stand when people show um, Instagram versus reality. And it's not really that different. <laughs> That's so annoying to me. Dude, like look at this photo. It's <laughs> She has a photo side by side and one says bum to her butt. So bum near and bum far. And they're bum near. She's taking a photo. She's sitting on the counter, I'm guessing, like maybe in the bathroom. Right. And taking a picture her in the mirror. Her back's kind of arched. And her butt looks super sitting, round. She's sitting on the counter. And then she takes a picture of her in the same bathroom, same lighting. and But she's standing. She's not sitting. She's not arching her back. And you can see cellulite like on her butt and her legs. And Which is real and for most says, people. Instant big bum in three seconds flat question mark or let's talk yet another photo secret. Whatever's closest to the mirror appears bigger. She kind of tells you, she teaches you and explains to you how you get these photos or how they're done. And I love this because it kind of speaks to what we were talking about on the last pos podcast about people saying uh, the the person that wrote in talking about how do I stop comparing myself, you know, looking on Instagram and all of that. And this is so cool because this is telling you basically why you can't, I'm not saying that there aren't some people out there that have amazing, perfect body, perfect body. Well, what, what a society would, would consider a perfect body. Yeah. But, uh, th it's really cool that she does this and is so, uh, I hate to say brave. It's not brave. It's not. But no, just she's so just real. Honest. She's just so real. And like, I'm going to actually, I'm going to read this whole post. So she has this photo and it's a side by side, a picture of her same everything. Like she took it five seconds apart. Sorry, she said three seconds. So it says instant big bum bum in three seconds, flat question mark, or let's talk yet another photo secret. Whatever's closest to the mirror appears bigger. That's why, I, that's what I'm doing here. I've got my bum angled really close to the mirror so that it looks bigger than anything else. Plus, by resting my tushy cheeks on the countertop, I'm pulling my skin taunt. It's, wh it's why the cellulite disappears. And it's the same reason folks sometimes hold their under booty when taking those peachy selfies. Dude, I just started to realize that. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I've really been fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it wrong she this said, whole time. This bigger bum trick pops up a lot with camera angles too. All you need to do is lower the camera and scoot your tush closer to the lens and it will look bigger. 
It's why a lot of squat workout videos are filmed from down tilted up or why pool selfies are often taken from thigh or bum height and the camera is tilted towards the horizon. Honestly, all that's well and good and perfectly fine with me. Sometimes I love taking super juicy peachy selfies too. (laughs) But I just wanted to remind you today to not compare yourself to anyone here. Not the booties, not the bodies, and certainly not to the lives. Because so gosh darn much is curated, filtered, posed, and perfected. And us offline and us offline souls, question mark, we are a whole lot more perfectly imperfect. And that's a wonderful, powerful, amazing, amazing thing indeed. You got this. She is I love it. Incredible. And well, you what? just you just don't like I've seen and you have to check her out because you watch her in some of her videos. She shows you. She gets into a pose and you're like, holy shit. And then she's like, and she like lets it all go and turns and just stands there like a regular human being. You're like, oh my God. Yeah. That looks like One. me. <laughs> yeah. You're like, and, you, and, and you realize like. like, wow, you're just human. Right. You know? And, um, and that's the beautiful thing about her page and what she does is she's showing you, she's showing you one, we're all just human. Two, she shows you exactly how people are creating these perfect or what is deemed as perfect photos. Right. And then she immediately in the same picture or video just stands there with her human body and it changes completely. And um, I feel like it's something that we all know to right. be true. Like we know that it's like edited or fixed or, you know, modified. But at the same time in the back of our mind, we're like, but that's what's perfect. And I don't have that. It's like, even though you know that it's not real, it still sits in the back of your mind and like fucks up your, your yeah. self-confidence. Right. Even though you don't want it to. What was the thing you were, uh, you were, we were sitting yesterday you were sitting on the couch you were like oh my god there's this app oh my god get. Oh, yeah yes okay so i it's crazy I have, she goes oh my god i can change my nose dude, and my eyes dude. i can change my my hair color yeah my, I can change, you can make your lips you can make more them colorful fuller. so i was it's crazy i have a tiktok and i don't really do tiktok i wish i were better at it but i'm just not i'm just not By now, you've probably heard us talk about pros. I mean, and we get very excited about it, (laughs) typically. We love it. Like, probably overexcited about it. It's the world's most personalized hair care. And now you can give the gift of happy hair with pros for the holidays. They're right around the corner, guys. Dude, talk about the easiest, most personal, you know, cute, affordable present to give someone that you care about it has their name on it it's customized it's made just for their hair where they live comes you, with their, their name on it yeah it can be such a really cute easy yet personal gift to give someone yeah, who, who who doesn't love personal hair care anyone without hair maybe <laughs> <laughs> Even they might need something for more, you know, to keeping... Keeping their scalp nice. Yeah, keeping their scalp healthy. My favorite product that I use, honestly, is the hair oil. Hair oil's really nice. It is so nice. And it's crazy just how different mine is from yours. Yeah. Because we obviously filled... We did our own quiz. We did our own quiz. Based on how our hair hair is, how thick our hair is, um, and my oil is totally different from yours. Plus, Pros has a review and refine feature which lets you tweak formulas for any reason like change of address, change of hair color, or change of diet. And for me, there was a period of time where I was changing my hair color pretty rapidly. (laughs) So it came in quite handy. You know, going from purple to red red to brunette, slightly red, and then slowly working my way back to blonde. It has definitely been a great feature for me. 
because if I'm trying to slowly become blonde again, my hair is a little more dry. Pros has really gone on that journey with you. It, it, it definitely has. So take gifting to the next level with Pros Custom Hair Care. Get 15% off your order by going to pros.com slash reps. That's P-R-O-S-E dot com slash reps for 15% off your order. Pros.com slash reps. Hey, did you just say pros.com <laughs> slash reps? I sure did. Guys, we are bringing something to you that is another fantastic opportunity. Green Chef. I feel like anytime we have um, a sponsor that has food, meals delivered to your door that have more healthier, wholesome options full of a, var- a wide variety of organic ingredients... We say, sign us up. Yeah, sign, where do we sign, sign us up? up? Where do we sign up? Green Chef lets you choose from a wide array of easy to follow recipes, perfect for keto, paleo, and plant-based diets, or even if you just want to eat healthier. Recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along. Everything is hand-picked, featuring the organic veggies and high-quality proteins you want delivered to your door, contact-free. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company and includes recipes for paleo, keto, and plant-powered diets. I am really excited to try the recipe apricot glazed salmon. I mean, aside the fact that it sounds delicious, I really enjoy making salmon, but I never feel like, I never feel prepared to cook a recipe with salmon. So it'll be nice to have step-by-step all the ingredients and it's all done for me. All I have to do is follow the directions. Go to greenchef.com slash reps and use code reps80 to get $80 off, including free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash reps80 and use code reps80 to get $80 off, including free shipping. (laughs) What? What? Um... There was, there's always ads that come through, whether it's your Instagram or TikTok or whatever. And there was this ad for this photo editor. And I was like, oh dude, I'll try that. And not, I wasn't thinking, I was thinking like filter. Right. I was thinking like color, like make it more cinematic. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. like the, the, make it more vibrant. <laughs> um, I was really thinking like, oh, well, I don't have like a photographer that's there constantly to take photos of me and I suck at posting for all my sponsors. So maybe if I have a photo editor, I can, you just take shitty selfies or whatever and then just like spice them up a little bit and I wouldn't (laughs) care about posting it. So I download this photo editor and I was like, Gina, I about lost my freaking mind. I'm like in the kitchen doing stuff. She's sitting on the couch. She goes, oh my God, you got to come look at this. She's like, this is ridiculous. So I download it and it has this (laughs) button. No, what you you said is like, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, There's one button. You can do a magic corrector and you just click the button and it magically corrects all the things it thinks is wrong with you. (laughs) (laughs) That's what's crazy about it. It's like, you're not even pinpointing what you want changed. It's literally had probably has an algorithm saying most people, the most, you know, to be better looking, you need a slimmer nose and you know, your eyes need to be this far apart and your lips need to be this full and it automatically does it. I have this photo of me and Gina. So look at this before Gina Uh and then look at the after. Oh, and that's yeah. just the magic creator. So what it will do is it will play with I look your, way better. It plays with the background <laughs> so you can like blur the background and there's different types of blur. Obviously color, it's going to smooth your skin. It goes, and then I was scrolling down and it's like, uh, here we go. Um, neck retouch. That's what I need. Eye bags. <laughs> I also this need that. This is what it says. Eye contrast. You can like create the contrast in your eye color or whatever. You can make your teeth whiter. Teeth whitening. What? I'm going to tell you, I've seen so many photos of people, even some friends that I'm like, holy shit. Um, Why are their teeth so how white? How are your teeth like, like glowing? <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah, teeth whitening. You're like, I've I, seen you in dude, person. I know your eyebrows, teeth aren't that white. Eyebrows. You can like make your eyebrows darker, more prominent. You can like tone them back apparently from one comment i read my eyebrows are too intense <laughs> so <right. laughs> and those are just my actual eyebrows because i've never used this photo editing app <laughs> lip color 
eye size. You can make your eyes bigger or smaller. Oh my God. Nose size. You can make it bigger yeah, or remember smaller. remember you were doing it. You were like, look, I slimmed my nose. Dude, I did it all the way on a picture and I was like, watch the before and after. It like makes your nose more slimmer. Cheek size, lip size. You can make your lips bigger or smaller. Yeah, it's crazy. Shadows, highlights. It's insane. And like I had heard about, you know, the fact that there are these apps out there to really edit yourself. That's more than a filter. That's literally you're making yourself a completely different person. And here's what I think about it from a very personal standpoint. Because one, wow, crazy. One, technology, crazy, mind-blowing. Mm-hmm. Um. So crazy that I can put a picture of me and Gina like, oh, I just upload this one photo. It's not perfect at all, at all. And I can click this one button that just like does all these, does all these corrections and everything looks kind of better in a way. Uh, that there's a te- technology that can pinpoint all these different, just from a photo you upload, it knows where your nose, eyes, mouth, hair. There's two, and even there's two people in the picture I can edit the whole picture, but then also you go face one, face two. Oh, wow. So I can edit my face and then I can edit your face. Well, if you're going to edit your face, you better edit my face. I'm just saying like, that's insane (laughs) that there are programs out there. What if you were just editing your own face? (laughs) (laughs) Just make mine better and yours shittier. Wow. That's a real friend right there. (laughs) There's probably another app that does that. There's like an algorithm where it's like, okay, you know what? I just want to make myself look way better than my friend. Than anyone else in this photo. (laughs) I just, I think to myself, one, when I think about, even when I've had photos taken for like, I did a cover of like Oxygen or photos for like a magazine or the cover of this thing or whatever, I'll have photos sent back to me. And if they are too, I've, I've. If they're too like photoshopped or whatever you call it. Like a handful of times, because I haven't done that many photo shoots. (laughs) You're like all the covers I've done. A couple. I've literally wrote back and said, I need you to tone the editing down. Yeah. And the biggest reason it's like, do I think in what they did, I look hot? Yeah. But, But I need to know... Like nothing, it, it just feels so shitty to think that um, I would be putting out this false photo of what I looked like. It's basically saying I'm I'm setting the bar for something I can't attain to. Right, right. And that's what these photo editing apps do. It's like, a, and it's just a personal thing because I see like, you know, with TikTok and all these people, like all these little teens because- these apps are probably way more popular with mm-hmm. the younger kids than they are with, with, uh, with me or with you. Right. Um, they don't give a shit. And it's like, well, maybe I shouldn't care that I'm trying, I make myself look better in these photos than I do in real life. But for me for myself, it's like, I would never, it would feel so bad to ever. Cause what if you like most run into times, somebody? Dude, that, most times we've met people and they're yeah. like, wow, you're so much prettier in right. person. <laughs> right. right. And we're, right. and that makes me feel better, better. And it's like, well, I should just get, I should just meet more people in person then. Yeah. Would you, exactly. Would you rather be more attractive in person or in photos? Or in a photo in person. I I would never, that, and that's why I do it. It's like, I would never want to put out, even if I think like I look better in this photo, however they edited it, I wouldn't want to meet someone who's seen it and, and not be able to be <laughs> the same person. And be like, oh man, you look like shit. Wow. You really know you how to work your better. angles. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been practicing. It's false advertising. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, I don't know, like on a dating app or something. I've never done Cat a dating fishing. app. I'm actually thinking about it. Um, I've, I've thought about me doing and Devin, it just for fun. Me and Devin, we were actually, me, Devin, and Colby, we were in Salt Lake. We were shooting video for Enswear. Uh-huh. And me and Devin at night, um, she actually downloaded, I don't remember what app it was, a dating app. Uh huh. Just so I could basically play. And just swipe. (laughs) And it was fun. Swipe, swipe, swipe. We'd change our location. Swipe, swipe, swipe. (laughs) And I was like, oh, man. I don't think, I I mean, I I don't, I have nothing against people actually dating, using those apps. I don't think I would ever use it to actually date, but I would love to use it just to 
look at people. Yeah, to play. To be like a voyeur. I did think for a while I thought it'd be funny to do catfish where... Oh, you already said this. Yes. It's kind of fucked up. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> no, it's really fucked up. I wanted, I wanted, that- <laughs> I wanted to do a dating app where I would swipe left or right, whatever, however you do it. That's only, and I say swipe left or right. I understand there's so many different dating apps out there, but I've only ever really heard of Tinder and how it works. I've never been on a dating app. Or like Match um, or, yeah. So I've thought to myself, how funny would it be to like, have like a date but gina shows up for me <laughs> that's so fucked up <laughs> so fucked up they think they're like meeting up with this like hot 31 year old like blonde like fit chick and i just show up like hey what's up <laughs> And I love that you get so much enjoyment out of it. Well, and you know, I'm going to be honest. I probably just, I probably just thought that because the idea around like how the dating app works right. intrigues me because it seems like fun. It seems like a game. It seems like we're playing but I, dots. But I love that you call but I, it, but, but I love I that you call it catfishing <laughs> because that's like no, I wasn't the calling, way less attractive. I wasn't calling know, that like, catfishing. Like, and then it's me. I wasn't calling <laughs> I wasn't calling that catfishing. <laughs> like I like I would like actually go in and be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, um no, you'd go in and be like, hey, I, I, I'm Brooke. I know that's not what you meant, but it's really funny to me. <laughs> oh hi, I'm Brooke. <laughs> yeah. I went to the CrossFit games. <laughs> went to the CrossFit games. Yeah, I used to be blonde, but now I am brunette and, and my a lot tits older. are way bigger and I'm <laughs> A good amount older. <laughs> like pussy's a little still bit. tight though. Pussy's Just still <laughs> tight. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, that's really funny. Can but we yeah. end this at ten? Because I like to be in bed by midnight. <laughs> <laughs> but also, that's true. Uh, Not only for Gina, but also for me. <laughs> we, no, we stay up late. Yeah, but we like to be in bed. Well, yeah, we like to be in bed, but we'll still stay up. Either alone or with each other. I, I prefer to be in bed Watch with TV. you. I know. Me yeah, too. we like turn on a, uh, like last night. It was, hey, what horror movie are we going to watch tonight? <laughs> we didn't even watch it. Nope. And Gina's like, honestly, I'm so, I'm so fucked up that I'm probably going to go to <laughs> sleep. So maybe watch this one. And we were trying to pick a video, to pick a movie of like, okay, we'll probably fall asleep. But then when we wake up in the morning, we could, we we could rewatch finish it. it. We'd rewatch it. Um, we didn't even watch any of it. She turned on, what was the movie? Underwater. Underwater. <laughs> and she immediately, I already knew, like, she was immediately going to go to sleep. <laughs> and I laid there with my eyes closed, wanting to watch it, but also at the same time being like, nah. <laughs> I shouldn't stay up any later. If I'm going to fall asleep easily, I'm just going to do that. Instead. Well, what's funny, so we were talking about how gross her hair was this morning. So bad. Brooke uh, was watching, she was on TikTok. And she saw this, it's like, I don't know if it's a, I don't know if you'd call it a challenge, but it's like trending or something. Like or maybe friends. it was just like, yeah, no, no, no. The one, oh, is that what it was? Best friends? The best friend? like the With the whipped cream? Oh, no, no. No, That yeah. was a challenge, like a whipped cream yeah, challenge. Yeah, like a, a whipped cream. So you, you spray whipped cream on the back of your hand. Well, I was doing it wrong. No. You, you spray you, it on the back of your hand. Yeah, like you right around, it. right around your wrist and you put your arm out in front of you and you take your other arm. And hit and it you from swing underneath. Swing it and you hit your static arm with a whipped cream on it. And the blob of whipped cream so flies in the air and you try and catch it in your mouth. <laughs> and the so, video that you showed me, it was really funny because the first girl hits it up and, it and just then it smacks, smacks her, her in right the in the forehead. So last night we were hanging out and, and we had bought whipped cream. And so we all went outside. It's raining. It's raining. So she decides she really wants to do this whipped cream thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, you guys, first of all, first try, <laughs> Chino. <laughs> it only, it, it like, it goes up like maybe two inches. My, I was my doing first it wrong. one was the same. Yeah, too. I was doing it wrong. And, um, but Daniel has a video of it and I look like she's being electrocuted <laughs> I do, I do. or having a seizure. I do. She would hit it 
and it'd go flying up and, and then go, her arms would go like stiff out in front of her body and start shaking <laughs> as she's trying to walk closer to wherever it's going to descend and never it never once not once one time it looked like it was twice the first time it looked like it was like had great height but it went way over her head and we thought how did you not fall over and die <laughs> that also happened to me um the other time it goes up and comes down and just goes <laughs> down her sweatshirt <laughs> oh, right. we had whipped cream everywhere. everywhere it was everywhere in our hair so that was the thing too last night like we went to bed we didn't want to wash our hair we're going to wash it tomorrow we just wrapped it up our woke hair up with just had crusty, so much stinky. whipped cream in it it yeah, it was disgusting. a mess. Maggie, po- your poor dog had whipped cream all over. Yeah, I'm thinking like, we didn't even let her outside. I'm like, how did you even get this on you? And then I thought, well, I mean, it was all over us. <laughs> it was. It was on your face. Oh, it was on my face. It was, oh, and then, okay, Brooke's so sweet. We're we're trying to hose it off the deck. But you, you're then, like, it's on my face. And so she <laughs> sprays, herself, sprays herself in the face with the hose. <laughs> and so I'm like, here, I'll clean you off. And I take the hose from her. I'm spraying her down. And, and then the, she freaking sprayed it up my butthole. Yeah, you were walking in the house and I thought to myself like, this would be funny. And so I- <laughs> And it's like the 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 handle that has like the hard spray. I put it, I put it right on her butthole. <laughs> Not like right on her butthole. She's wearing leggings. Like on the outside of where her butthole would presumably be. And- I don't normally wear my I butthole just, on the outside go, of my pants, but- <laughs> and, then I, and then I pulled the trigger and I was like- <laughs> So yeah, gave me an enema. Clean me out. She was sticky and wet (laughs) all at the same time. (laughs) Oh my God. All right. You guys, um, I am in Santa Cruz for another week. Another week. Uh, Me and Gina are going to bank a few podcasts so we can be in person. Mm -hmm. And then I fully understand now how to do Skype when we are recording. Um, Thank you so much for bearing with us yeah. during this really weird time. I am trying to figure out a place to have a home in the California area in Santa Cruz so we can keep our podcast rolling versus continuing continuing to record them. But over Skype and over, you know, long distance, it's just not the best it's quality. Weird. We can't, you know, we can't really, we have the Wi-Fi we have. We can't really control a lot of those things. But I'm working Plus, on we're it. We're not it's used take to podcasting, time. looking at each other on no, a screen. No, it's weird. It's very, it's very strange. It was very weird for us. We're like, hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. You forget you're actually like podcasting. You're like, hey, hey. I mean, we don't really have a format anyway, but no. Um, but yeah, no. And we're hoping that you know through these weird times. I mean, it's been so long. What we've all been with the Christian? COVID. You get a haircut? Oh, hey, Christian. Oh, hi. Oh, my gosh, Ruby. Gina's Sorry, daughter my daughter just, just got in. home her with boyfriend her boyfriend. Got a haircut. Great hey. haircut. Hey. Um, but, <laughs> but, yeah, so um, we're just, you know, we're all kind of going crazy here, and we're just hoping that the rest of you out there are hanging in there and getting through the holidays and, I don't know. Yeah, and uh, just, th- just thank sending you. some love out to you all. Because yeah, and thank you for sending the email. I think we're all struggling a little bit. And reminding us of why we continue to do this yeah. show. Because we really do appreciate you. Um, we very, very much value those of you that do listen to our podcast. And it's because of you that we even, you know, try to get ourselves to <laughs> um, create any sort of topic. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we are going to work on that Instagram. So, hopefully, I don't know we'll put something out on yep. our Instagrams as soon as we have it up. And hopefully you guys will enjoy um, the embarrassing shit that we're going to put out there. And definitely, you know, those of you and other people that haven't already email in, we would love to hear your ideas on things you would love to see on that little social media outlet. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. We love your input. Yeah. The weirder, the better. <laughs> <laughs> What's our rule? just can't get us arrested yeah we just want to get arrested other than that has to be legal what would you do for for a view um thanks again for listening don't forget to rate Rate, review subscribe five-star rating five-star warning and we'll We'll see you next week. week bye